Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am back today with another Cezanne haul and review for you. This is my third one for the fall season, so if you missed the last two, I'll link them down below. But in today's video, I have six pieces I'll show you. I'll style them in a couple of different ways to give you some outfit ideas, but I'll also talk to you about the construction and the quality of each item, and also give you my honest opinion on it. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. This here is the Manon jumper. This is the color white, although in person it does look to be a little bit more of an ecru off-white color. This has beautiful crochet detailing through the shoulder, onto the sleeve, and a little bit here in the front. The rest of it is a very ribbed style. As far as the neckline, it has a square neckline going into a deep V. It also has beautiful long sleeves with a slight balloon style. This is a combo of merino wool, organic cotton, and polyamide. I'd say it's very soft and warm, but not overly warm. Regarding the quality of the sweater, I would say it is beautifully constructed. However, they did miss just a couple of little details. Like I see there's a couple of loose strings here and here against the sleeve here as well. So I think just a few little tweaks on a little bit of quality control can really help that just a little bit, but this isn't anything that you can't just snip off and probably be just fine with. So not really an issue, but I did want to call it out. As far as the fit, I have a size medium and I'd say it's very true to size. It fits beautifully on my shoulders and through the sleeves and across the front. I do have to say that the little corners here of the way it meets here from the square to the V, it does pull a little bit there. So your bra strap could show just a little bit. So I did find myself having to kind of reposition that a little bit and hide that every so once in a while. Also, if you are a little bit more on the busty side, this does come down quite low. So if you are concerned with showing an overly amount of cleavage, that might be a concern for you. But I did not have that issue. However, I think if I were to bend down a little bit, you can probably see a lot there. In terms of styling, I'd say this is quite a versatile piece as far as being able to dress it up or dress it down. You can wear this with a pair of slacks to the office. You can wear it with a pair of jeans off on the weekend. For my looks, I have decided to pair it with my black long denim flares and some black booties for a very casual look. And I've thrown it over my blue slip dress. This really helps extend the life of your summer clothing through the colder months by layering a sweater over it. I've belted it in the middle, thrown on my Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots, and that's the look. So before I show you the next item, I'd love to give you a big warm welcome to all those returning viewers. I appreciate you so much. In fact, today as I'm filming this, I just hit 700 subscribers. I've come a long way. I know I still have a long way to go, but I am so appreciative for every single one of you tuning in to watch my videos week after week. It really means the world to me. I love your support. I love hearing from you and getting to know you. And it just really truly means so much to me. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And if you are new here or have not yet subscribed, if you love Saison videos, if you love chic and feminine fashion and always looking put together and looking your best, I think this channel would be a really good fit for you. So I'd love to have you come back and join me again in the future. Please hit that little red button down below. It's the subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me. And I'd love to see you back here. Thank you again. And now let's jump into the next piece. Next up, we have the Maria skirt, and I have to admit the number one thing that caught my eye about this skirt is the fact that it's named Maria. The Maria skirt is a midi-length skirt and it is high-waisted. It's 100% viscose and it is fully lined, so that is always fantastic. The skirt has a great deal of pleating in the front, but that does not create volume in the skirt. It is still a very slimming skirt, although it does have some movement to it. This pattern is called the Calanquis Florals, which I'm completely butchering that, so I'm very sorry about that. But it's a beautiful brown tonal color with floral print on it, and the flowers are a very light creamy color, and just a little hint of black in the spots of the flower. You could see it better in the close-up but I think this is a gorgeous pattern for fall. 
I know this also comes as a top and also as a dress. All are really stunning, but I wanted to give the skirt a try most of all. For fit, I would say this is very true to size. I have the size medium and it fits me absolutely beautifully through the waist. And also, I was able to tuck the Manon jumper directly into it fully around and it was still quite comfortable. So a really, really great fit there. I do think the colors really scream fall and winter. However, I think the lightness of the skirt can really help carry it through the warmer months as well. If brown is just part of your regular wardrobe, you can easily wear this without any issue there. As far as styling this skirt, I think it's a very versatile style. You can definitely wear it in a more professional atmosphere, perhaps with a button-down blouse pairing with it or a, even a blazer over on top of it or in a casual atmosphere with a t-shirt or something simple on top. For the way I've styled it, I've paired it with my crochet blouse also from Cezanne and some Steve Madden knee-high boots. And since it's still quite warm here in Southern California, I've gone with a little bit more of a lighter look for the second look and I've just paired it with an express bodysuit and also the Lara sandals from Cezanne as well. This next piece is part of Cezanne's fall collection and this is the Mindy Jumper. This is the color Sienna and on the website I thought it was more of a burnt orange but it is definitely more of a red color here in person. It also comes in a beautifully vibrant electric blue color and also a very saturated flecked purple. This is a short sleeve sweater with a little bit of a lettuce ruffle detail at the end. It has a crew neck and it is fairly decent in length, enough to tuck in but also to leave out as well. Hit me right at about the hip level. For the fabric construction, this is polyamide, kid mohair, and merino wool, and a little bit of elastane. As far as the itch factor, I would say this is a little bit uncomfortable. I did not quite feel as much itch through the body and sleeves as much as I did on the neckline. It felt like a ton of little tiny, pins and needles just eating away at my neck. So that was quite sensitive and a little bit uncomfortable. I did get a little bit used to it as I was wearing this on my try-on. However, it didn't quite go away or feel all that comfortable. So if you are overly sensitive to it, I would say to probably avoid this because it was just not, not very pleasant, I should say. As far as the fit, the website suggests if you're between two sizes to size up, but I did stick to my usual size of a medium and I'm just fine with that. I didn't find this to be overly oversized at all. I could tuck it in with no problem. It did quite feel a little bit on the fitted side for me, so not too big, not too small. I think it really was just right. For the first look, I've gone with just a very casual look. I've paired it with some wide leg cropped denim and some really hot red booties that I just recently picked up. And for the second look, I've opted to throw it over another dress. This is a beautiful dress from Simple Retro I acquired over the summer. It is yellow with beautiful red roses on it, and I thought those little red roses would play off the red of the sweater just beautifully. I've cinched it in the middle with a belt, thrown on some knee-high boots, and that is a wonderful look for fall and winter. Next up, we have a pair of denim, and these are the Augusto trousers. Now, I'm pretty sure these just came out for fall. I believe these are one of their newer denim styles. So this is categorized as a mid-high rise on the website, and I was kind of wondering what that meant. Mid-high rise, what, I mean, in essence, it's basically a higher style of a mid-rise, meaning it's falling right under my belly button. So it's not quite high rise, but I think it's on the higher scale of a mid-rise if that makes any sense. This is a straight jean with a wide leg at the bottom, which I love that really big wide leg. It's a 34 inseam, so I do need to wear it with some heels because wearing it with flats is just a little too long for me. There are patch pockets in the front. However, just take notice the patch pocket does not open from here. It opens from this little compartment over here in the middle. So the pocket is a lot smaller than what it appears to be a zipper and a button closure, and the back have two pockets as well, which are fully functioning. 
Now this is 100% organic cotton. I really do love that rigid denim. If you saw my previous Saison haul, I tried the Perfect Slim and that has some elastane in it and I found that elastane to be a little overly elastic for me so I do prefer rigid style in general. As far as the fit is concerned the website does suggest to size down if you are in between sizes but given my recent issues with Saison trousers and denim about not having much luck with their sizing proportions I decided to just stick with my usual size which is the 38 USA 6 and I think to further discuss this it's better that I put these on and show you exactly what I mean. First off, I have to say I think the fit is beautiful as far as the waist fitting okay, through the hips okay, and through the legs and length perfect. I do love the silhouette of these jeans. They have a very slim, straight fit through the hips and thighs, and then they balloon out to a beautiful wide leg flare. So silhouette wise, this is right up my alley this is the way i love to wear jeans this is the fit and proportions and silhouette that i love on my body now as far as the construction there is a reason i'm standing with my legs far apart like this because when i stand up straight as you can see there is a lot of ct going on there and that is in part to the construction of these jeans I think they fit me great, so it is not a matter of them being too small. You can actually feel the awkwardness in the crotch area and how it just does not feel right. When I attempt to pull them down, the crotch is hanging far too low. So there is something here with the darting of these pants, the way the pockets are constructed, and this extra material right here. Like you can see it right there just pooling here at my crotch not to have to point you to that direction at all but i'm just trying to explain these in a more thorough way by showing you firsthand and also when i turn around i can feel this more than you can see if you can see the way this seam is completely lopsided if you can see that at all but i can feel it that it is like veering off to one side on my tush and that is not comfortable either. So I just feel like there's just something wrong going on here. If I were to size up, I don't think it would fix it because it is not a matter of these being too tight. It is more a matter of something has been poorly constructed in that area. And unless I just stand like this all day, uh, I, I just can't make these jeans work so unfortunately for that reason these do have to go back but I am so in love with these silhouettes please 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 tell me out there if anyone has tried these Augusto trousers if you are not having this issue with them if perhaps maybe I should just try another one and maybe this one kind of went wrong on the sewing machine in some way and I can find one that fits me better but this whole situation is just not comfortable and not visually pleasing. So these do have to go back. As far as styling these jeans, I did just pair them with the Mindy jumper in that clip just to show you how they look. But all in all, I did not really want to style these just because they look so embarrassing on and I truly honestly would not want to be seen in these, at least in the way they look. So. Again, if you are out there and you've tried these Augusto trousers, let me know what your luck is with them. I'd really love to chat with you in the comments about it, so please let me know. Next up, we have one of Saison's essential pieces, and this is the Lucy top. This is a camisole made of 100% silk, and I'd say this is definitely an essential in every woman's wardrobe. I'm a little late to the game in picking one of these up. I've had my eye on it for the longest time, but I finally pulled the plug on it. And I would say I would love to have this in multiple colors because it is a very versatile piece. I do love the scalloped detail through the neck and the shoulder area. And I love that the straps are a little on the wide side so that you can easily hide a bra underneath it with no problem there. And I do love that the neckline is not too deep so it can keep you a little modest. And I love that the purpose of these is to probably keep your modesty just a little bit 
a great layering piece under anything that is long and plunging. Perhaps a sheer top like this. This is the Claudio top from Saison. I just picked this up in the last haul, which you can see linked down below in case you missed that. But this is a very sheer shirt and wearing something like this underneath it and a coordinating color can help give you a little bit more of a modesty if you don't want your bra showing. But again, something like this is so versatile for layering under blazers, cardigans, blouses, shirts, anything that you can think of to give it a little bit of a pop of color or keep it neutral, really just a wonderful piece. As far as the fit is concerned, the website has suggested to size above, but I did go with my usual size six and I'm perfectly fine with it. I did not find it to be overly small or overly large. I think it's really just right. I would say it's very true to size. As far as the way I've styled it for you today, I've paired it with my Saison skirt that I picked up at the archive sale over the summer and also a pair of black booties. And I've also styled it with these jeans here. These are actually a pair of Zara jeans. I've said this before, I think Zara makes wonderful jeans and I think Saison can take a little note or two on how to properly cut jeans for a woman's body. I'm sorry that's a little ding on Saison, but after the experiences I've been having lately, I just really wish that I can find a pair from them that I truly love. So in any case, I've paired it with these jeans and a really gorgeous hat for a just fun, casual, laid back look. This next piece is a little bit of an unusual selection for me because I am not a sweatshirt kind of gal. I am not into wearing athletic wear out and about. I reserve that for the gym, for working out, and it's not something I would wear on a regular basis. However, this Alexa sweatshirt really caught my eye and I was drawn to it, not just for this gorgeous green khaki color, which I have really been gravitating to lately, but also because this is such an elevated style of a sweatshirt and I really just had to see it in person. So at first glance, it does definitely have a resemblance to your typical sweatshirt. It is 100% organic cotton material. It has a crew neck and this little kind of little stitching here, which is usually very typical of a sweatshirt. And it also has a ribbing detail down either side, which is also very sweatshirt-esque. But the thing that really drew me to this that kind of elevates this above and beyond a very typical sweatshirt are these sleeves. First off, the shoulder detail here with this pleating here, ballooning out to this gorgeous balloon wide, super long sleeve here. And that is really just what brings this up to the next level. Of course, also this beautiful green khaki color really drew my eye as well. I think it comes in other colors, I'm not sure. I will pop them on the screen if they're available, but I just love this green. I'm really drawn to it. I'm trying to incorporate more and more of this into my wardrobe, so that is what really stood out to me as well. Regarding the size, the website suggests if you want more of a fitted look to size down, Otherwise, to stick to a little bit more of an oversized look to just go with your usual size. I went with my usual size, which is a medium, and I'm not finding it to look too, too overly sized. I mean, as far as it being a sweatshirt, I guess it does need to be oversized in some respect, so I had no problem with the sizing there, and it does fit beautifully on my sleeve as far as length too. As far as styling this Alexa sweatshirt, I think due to the little bit of elevated style here, you can attempt to dress it up just a little bit. In fact, I did pair it with my Zara pink plaid trousers that I recently picked up in my recent haul, and they do have this little green piped detail through the plaid, which I thought would play off this sweatshirt just perfectly. Let me know what you think of that outfit, because I do think it looks a little odd, but at the same time, it also looks put together. So <laughs> but let me know what you think about that one. And for the second look, I went more of a tonal monochromatic look, pairing it with my green paper bag shorts and also my green booties. If you enjoyed this Saison video and would like to see more, I have my playlist on the screen for you to check out next. I'd love your feedback on the items I showed you here today, so please 
Don't be shy and let me know in the comments what you enjoyed, what you did not enjoy, and what you think of those Augusto trousers. I'm really curious. Also, please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you are new here. And finally, another great way to support the channel is by sharing a link of this video on your Facebook page. Perhaps other ladies that you know might be interested in this kind of content as well, so that would be a tremendous help to me too. Thank you again so much for watching. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'll be back very soon with another video, and thank you so much for watching.